coming up on Mountain News this morning, a mother in London now shares a birthday with her son Jackson, who was born on New Year's Day. And one group who trains and deploys search and rescue dogs is in a tough spot after a New Year's Eve theft. Plus, new gun laws in Tennessee took effect on Wednesday, allowing folks to replace all day safety course with an online video. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. And good morning. It is 4:59 on Friday, January the 3rd. I'm Will Puckett. Thank you for tuning into Mountain News this morning. Madison has the day off. Well, it's raining in most of eastern Kentucky and is expected to continue throughout the weekend. So let's bring Brandon Robinson in this morning. And Brandon, we are in a severe weather alert mm -hmm. day. Welcome back. Thank you. Been a while since you've been here on this. Has been a while. I saw you yesterday in the newsroom, but uh, in here it's been the first time in a while. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look and see the mess this morning. And take a look at the satellite radar loop for the last six hours. It's been raining off and on throughout the nighttime hours. Heavy bands of rain coming through at times, and heavy bands of rain right now on Life Pinpoint Doppler radar. We just got a flood advisory. Literally just came in, I believe, in Claiborne County. Let me double check that here real fast. But I believe it's in Claiborne County, Tennessee, and that goes until 9 a.m. So, again, some high water issues being reported as we head out the door this morning. So be careful. Ponding water on the roads. I witnessed that firsthand. And fog starting to develop, especially down in the Cumberland Valley. And visibility issues where you're getting those heavier bands of rain as well. So just remember, anything less than five miles is limited visibility. Temperatures across the region, they peaked, uh, or actually they got their coolest right now. And then they'll continue to climb as we head through the day as that warm south breeze will come into play. 48 to 50 right around the area there. 52 in some spots. Winds are cranking out the south still this morning. Your out the door forecast, please be careful. If you come across any high water or water over a road, do not, do not drive through it. Temperatures top out right around 57 later today. We'll have the extended forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Will. Alrighty, Brandon, thank you. Well, it is a tense day for troop station in Baghdad. After the Pentagon confirms the president ordered the strike that killed Qasim Soleimani, the commander of Iran's Quads Force, in an attack at the Baghdad International Airport. The major development follows two days of unrest outside the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. As Democrats expressed concern about legalities of the strike, Republicans heaped praise on the president. The question on the minds of many is now, what's next? My question to the Americans is, what's your plan for keeping Iraq stable? after pulling this off. This is a direct action between the United States against a senior military commander of Iran. It isn't a proxy war anymore. The statement from the Pentagon claims Soleimani approved this week's violent protest at the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad that prompted the U.S. military to deploy hundreds of troops to the Middle East. A Texas man reported missing in the Grand Canyon nearly two weeks ago has been found alive. According to the National Park Service, Martin O'Connor was located in Grand Canyon National Park Thursday morning. The 58-year-old was reported missing on the 22nd of December, but some hikers reported seeing him Wednesday. And on Thursday, he was spotted at the spot where the hikers said they had seen him. O'Connor was evacuated via helicopter from the inner canyon around 10 in the morning. He was in stable condition and was taken, to a, was taken for a medical evaluation. One group who trains and deploys search and rescue dogs is in a tough spot after a New Year's Eve theft. Someone stole a trailer belonging to the Jefferson County Search Dog Association full of nearly $7,000 worth of communication equipment. The theft happened in the Iroquois neighborhood of Louisville. One member of the volunteer group is asking the thief to bring the trailer back because its contents could help save lives. You hurt your own community. Uh, there's children and elderly uh, that's going to go missing and we're not going to have things to help facilitate finding them. The Louisville Metro Police Department is investigating. The group is keeping a close eye on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist and area pawn shops. New gun laws in Tennessee took effect on Wednesday. The new rule says applicants can watch a 90 minute online video instead of taking an eight hour class to obtain a handgun carry permit. Applicants are tested after the vi after the video presentation and will still have to pay a $60 fee. They may still take the eight hour class, which includes FaceTime with instructors and a live fire test.
Well, you can kick off the new year by saving a life today. The Kentucky Blood Center and WYMT are partnering to ensure there is adequate blood supply for the new year. The blood mobile will be parked outside our station from 3 until 6 this afternoon. Donors will receive a KBC hoodie. To schedule a donation, you can visit kybloodcenter.org. Walk-ins are also welcome. A mother in London now shares a birthday with her son Jackson, who was born on New Year's Day. Jackson Storms was the first baby of 2020 born in London. His mother, Anna Knott, only shares a birthday. But in 1998, she was the first baby of the year born in Napoleon, Ohio. Jackson was supposed to be delivered on January 8th, but ended up becoming the best 22nd birthday present his mother could ask for. After 39 weeks, we were told that we could have him. And I was like, okay, we can, we'll have him whenever, at any time. So we just picked the first just because I was, I was ready to give birth. The family was sent home with several gifts from the hospital, including a new car seat and a radio flyer. New Year, new baby. Pikeville Medical Center rang in the new year with Zoe LaDawn Ramey, the six pound, five ounce daughter of Casey Ramey, was the first baby born in 2020 at PMC. An unexpected way for her mother to bring in the new year. She wasn't due till 1st of February, end of January. I came in. And they told me that she'll probably be a New Year's baby. They was all in a race for it. She received a scholarship to the University of Pikeville for finishing that race before the other babies in the city. Well, thank you for getting your day started with us right here on Mountain News this morning. Ever wonder what 15,000 vinyl records look like? We'll show you how and why they're all in one place just ahead. The heavy rain bands will continue to affect the area throughout the day, leading to some high water concerns. I'll track them out for you in about three minutes.